Hello everybody, this is Starman and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Perhaps it's because of my Nord blood, but there's something about it that makes me feel alive. As you can see, we're just outside of Dawnstar. I just sold most of my loot to the Khajiit merchants here. Uh, it's late enough that I think that the shops have all closed. I work for Thoring Runs the Inn. Speak to him. Yeah, go to this place in any to find out what it is that has people here troubled. It's a curse. It has to be. I I've got to get out of this town. Irgner, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandur. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. The Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. She's probably also the only bard in Dawnstar. All right, let's go talk to the hooded man. What troubles you, my son? Because he's a hooded figure in the middle of a tavern. Clearly, he's going to have yes, a great and noble are. quest for us. Hmm. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger. But I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Well, what can you do anyway? Dreams aren't real. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. All right. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. Okay, what's your plan? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Hey, we've been there. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Huh? What do you mean, return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. Oh, we wouldn't want that. I would simply ask that you trust me. And help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Okay. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Okay. Who is the Daedric Lord? Varmina. Varmina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire. Giggity! A nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. So what does she do with the memories? Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. Because, you know, demon prince. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. I work in the mine just like everyone else. Frost, the end. Can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. At <sighs> My I work in the wind all grew up and head on left inside. Dawnstar to make their fortune. Follow me. It's this way. Yeah, of course, we can just jump right there. Oh, now we've got multiple trolls instead of multiple bears. So, yay, troll fat. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? 
Okay, we'll probably have to wait for him to go in first. Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. Okay. And... Were they successful? No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. What do you make of that? Why is it dangerous if they're asleep? I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken. Both orcs and priests alike. What does this do? The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Hmm. Is this dangerous? Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. So, best case scenario, we're going to be wandering into a place full of eternally sleeping orcs and priests. Worst case scenario, we're going to walk into a temple full of berserk orcs and demon priests. Once we get inside, all will become clear. So you keep saying. I'm itching for a fight. Yeah. I'm gonna trade you some no gear problem. real quick. I can carry a good bit of gear. Because I took all this spare Nordic armor thinking that Mial would be able to carry it, and uh, not so much. All set. Let's go. I think Mial's getting left behind. Give me just a moment. I'll have this open. Now, if you're thinking that seems suspect that this guy seems to know so much about this temple, well, you're fairly canny. Show you the source of the nightmares over here. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woe. Ooh. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. Okay. bonuses I was hoping for. Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Looks difficult to breach. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. Uh-oh. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library 
and confirm it can be done. You seem to know an awful lot about this place. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. All right. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Demon! I knew it. You're a liar. And what would you have me say? Sorry for following the misguided teachings of a mad divine. Sorry for stealing memories from children. It'd be a start. Do you realize when the orcs attacked, I was only concerned with myself? I fled. Left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrong. All right. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Okay, silly question. Lore holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long. I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture. And an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. All right, but we mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. My kingdom for a telekinesis spell right now. Heck, my kingdom for a kingdom. And we're going to be stuck waiting on him for a bit. It's just up here. Yeah, I figure it had to be the one door that we'd come okay. across. We're certain to find more of the awakened within. Well, good thing I have this nice fiery sword for going into the library. <laughs> no kidding! Yeah, you don't mind if I slaughter your brethren and loot their corpses, do you? I thought not. And of course all the books are burned. This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. I hope the tome we need is still intact. Oh, I think I can guarantee it will be. Someone there? Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can <laughs> locate the information I need. What am I looking We're for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. All right. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, up. Check around the lower level. Huh, troll skull. Well, he didn't say not to check the locked chest in the closet.
And we have, ooh, Ebony Mace. And that just leveled us up. So let's see. And uh, we'll go Stamina this time. Let's see. Is my speech skill high enough to do something impressive? Let's see, Investor, Fence, not quite yet. Lockpicking, on the other hand. Ability to pick locks without being noticed. I'll give you a, a copy of a picked lock's key if it has one. That can be incredibly useful. Adept locks, golden touch. Find more gold, 50% greater chance of finding special treasure. Why have I not been doing this one? An expert lock, locksmith. Unbreakable, your lock picks never break. And master locks. Yeah, that's tempting. And that seems to sneak. However, light armor. Oh, but archery. This one. Can always use more critical hits. And that basement clearly leads somewhere important. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Well, not the book we're looking for. Yes, my son. Let me take a look. More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. Okay. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Is that some type of potion? Yes. The Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I really don't like where this is going, but that's amazing! Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. So Note the hesitation on ingestible. In person. I'm going to be your test subject, aren't I? Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. Oh, that's convenient. Hey, uh, wait, I'm a Sworn of Mara. That won't work on me, either. All believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. Okay, I'm not going to ask the what it'll feel like. The library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the Torpor. Boy, he fireballed the heck out of them, but quick, didn't he? Let's see. Mead, mead, mead. What lady Mara? <laughs> Never should have come. <laughs> Okay, get a potion real quick. Oh. 
He's a rever badass priest. We need to find the torpor. It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. Which means I will probably find it down here somewhere. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? And okay, just overburden myself. And didn't I kill one in here? Yeah, well. Go ahead and ditch. Well, heck, these don't weigh much. Although they really shouldn't be fresh, but what the heck, they're here. Man, where was this place when I needed fire salts before? Yes, my son. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. Here? Now? Dawnstar's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation. But I promise you that it works. All right. Well, bottoms up. Let's. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Um, yes, I'm ready. Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin. We must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Yes. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell. And yeah, we just gotta run the dungeon. Not that we can seem to get involved in the fighting anyway, but uh... This way. Yeah, there's no inventory here. It's just a matter of running down the hallway and...
Mara, be brave. You don't need to sound that shocked. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. Yeah. Well, it served a purpose. What you just experienced? You are not amazed? I'm at a loss for words. This is only like the sixth weirdest thing I've done this week, man. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Yeah, I'm not your friend, pal. Come. We must get to the skull and destroy it. We fight to the last. You'd think I'd have gotten my one-handed skill increased by a little by this point. And well, any chance any of the stuff I picked up can be disenchanted for a spell I don't know already? Not so much. Ha-ha! Aw, oh, man, he set that one on fire before I got a chance to set him on fire. Do to do 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 to do Did he just say do or no? Okay, no more robes. Wait, what? Baron, Thoric, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. Yeah. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Take heed, you awaken. That's all you. Vermina, forgive me. Finally. What? Oh, whoops, sorry. No. Like this. Good enough. <laughs> Got you confused with the other 
guy in the robe who I'm going to backstab. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Yeah, I know. I saw in the vision. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Yeah, probably. Maybe they were right. Don't destroy the, the staff. No, you mustn't listen to them. Or the skull. They speak only lies and deception. Was it a staff or a skull? Had we aided them in releasing the skull, they would use it to wreak havoc across Skyrim. They... They had to die. Yeah, not buying it. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. Mm-hmm. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First... An incantation to remove the barrier. Yeah, I think you know where this is going. I call upon you, Lady Mara. A skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. Of course he is. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Yep, no doubt. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Oh, is that the god you're turning to now? You know, I could let him do this for a while and see how long uh, and high I can build my block skill. And I think I'll go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to make you watch that. So we'll go ahead and stop this video here. And uh, once I've decided I've leveled up enough, we'll come back and finish him off. We'll see you uh, next time.